All right, hey everyone. Um, I decided to make this video since a lot of people were wondering about how to uh, do the last part of our lab, the, uh, the, the, the deliverables at the end with the questions. So uh, question three says, using the lab view block diagram as a model, calculate and tabulate a list of X and Y values. And then using MATLAB or any other graphing method, graph the results you calculated in the tabulation above. So, um, and then what is the function of the bundle function in the block diagram? So we're gonna do all three of these. I'm gonna use Microsoft Excel to show you how. So using the lab view block diagram as a model, that would be this. All right, so this is our for statement right here uh, in our block diagram. So basically the way this works is we have 100 iterations. So at iteration zero, we divide it by pi, then we take the cosine of that number and it goes into the bundle, and then we take the sine of that number and then multiply it by the iteration that we're on, and that goes into the other side of the bundle. And then the, uh, the graphing function uh, graphs it. So what we wanna do then is do all of this math right here for all 100 iterations and then uh, make a, a graph of it. And we'll do that using Microsoft Excel. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna have is the iteration that we're on. And then we'll take the, what is it, the sine of that? The cosine of, or then we'll divide the iteration number by pi. All right. So iter divided by pi, then we'll take the cosine of that, and then this one will be the sine times the iter over pi. All right, and we're going to do this in the easiest way that I know how. So starting with the iteration, you just start typing 0, 1, 2, and then instead of going all the way up to uh, 99, we just drag this down. Drag it down. All right, so here at 101, that should give us 99. Nope, it didn't because I didn't grab them all. There we go. Oops. All right, so at about 101, yep, that gives us 99. Okay, so now we need to take this column and divide it by pi and put those values in this column. So we have equals a two divided by 3.14. All right, and now we'll take and drag that all the way down here. And there we go. So one divided by pi is this, two divided by pi is this, three divided by pi is this, so on and so forth. All right, now we need to take the cosine of this column and put it here. So equals cosine, and notice that that is an actual function in Excel, so it returns the cosine of an angle. That's what we want, and the number that we want is b2 all right so cosine of zero is one so we know it's working and now we drag that all the way down and now that column is filled with the cosines of these numbers and finally we're going to do the sine of this column which is b2 and then we're gonna multiply that by the iteration number, which is A2 in this case. All right, so mm -mm. we'll see. have iteration over pi. Okay, as my lovely assistant has just pointed out to me, we're gonna take the sine of the iteration over pi and then multiply it by the iteration. That's what that is. Okay, so sine of b2 is the iteration over pi. 
and then times A2 is the iteration number. All right, so now we take that and drag it all the way down. All right. So now what we have here, according to our block diagram, all right, the cosine of iteration over pi, all right, is going to be our um, x value. And the sine of that times the iteration number is going to be our y value for our graph. So this is the x value this is the y value all right and now that we know what we want we're going to graph it so we're going to go to click over here and hit insert and over here in charts we're going to go to the line chart and grab that first one all right now this thing needs some data so we right click and go to select data and uh, the, the legend entries series is going to be our y-axis. So series name uh, is sine of iteration over pi times iteration or name it whatever you want. And then the series values, you go click that little button that's off to the side and then come over here to the y values and select them all. All right, once all of those are selected, you just hit enter and then okay. And now we go to horizontal and we hit edit and click the button there for the range and then we're gonna select everything in the X value column. And hit okay. All right, so now what we have here is the X values, which start at one, all right, and then goes to, should be almost negative one, yep, right there, one to negative one, and then back up, and it's gonna oscillate back and forth between positive one and negative one on the X axis, and then our Y axis is going to oscillate increasingly as the iterations get higher. All right, so this is that um, sine value versus the cosine value. Now, depending on how the bundle is, I haven't really looked at it yet. This was just a video on how to actually uh, do all the uh, stuff in Excel. So if we plot it the opposite way, where we have, where we switch the, uh, the axes. So in this one, um, this would be the cosine of the iteration. Alright, and so for our y value we select the cosine of the iteration. And hit enter, and I think what we're going to get on this one is what looks like a sine or a cosine wave. It's going to be a periodic wave. There it is, it's a cosine uh, wave. Okay, so if you plot the, um, the cosine values for the y-axis, then it's gonna oscillate between negative one and one, just like a cosine function should. If you select the sine times the iteration, you're gonna get uh, an increasing oscillation like, like the top one. So what we have to figure out now is which graph is he actually looking for, but that's how you do it in Excel.